This video will guide you through the setup process for the CR2 when cleaning restrooms. Step 1 of the setup process is filling the machine. The quickest way to fill the CR2 is by using the wide opening on the solution tank to fill with a 5 gallon bucket or hose from the janitor closet. If that is not available, you can also use the included sink adapter to fill the machine. Once you have the CR2 loaded, it is a simple task to transport to the job site. Even when fully loaded, this compact machine fits easily through most standard size doors. Position the CR2 just outside the door of the restroom or at the edge of the area that you are cleaning. Use the locking front casters to secure the machine. Connect the removable 50-foot twist lock power cord to the CR2 and plug the other end into an outlet that is preferably outside the restroom or away from the area to be cleaned. Next we will prime the pump. Turn on the pump switch on the control panel and then turn the selector switch on the back of the CR2 to the prime position for about 30 seconds or until the pump changes tone. Once primed, it is important to move the selector back to the cleaning position before you start cleaning. Next we will set up the chemical injection system. Read the instructions on the cleaning chemical you are using to find the correct dilution ratio. Then set the chemical jug in the holder on the back of the machine and select the appropriate metering tip for the job. The metering tips come with a chart for dilution ratio. Place the metering tip in the top of the cap connected to the siphon hose. Then attach the hose over the top of the metering tip to the hose barb on the cap. Place the filtered end of the siphon hose in the chemical jug and screw the lid down so it is secure. Turn the selector dial on the back of the CR2 from the rinse position to the soap position to prepare for pre-spraying chemical in the restroom. Best practice for the CR2 is a top-down approach to cleaning. This is why we recommend you start with any dusting that may be necessary in air vents, tops of partitions, window sills, and other tall areas. This brings the dirt down to the floor where it will eventually be removed with the squeegee. For dusting up high, you need to connect the quick dry tool to the end of the squeegee wand and use the hand screw to secure it in place. Next, connect the blower hose to the blower port on the bottom of the machine and the other end of the blower hose to the squeegee wand. Turn on the vacuum motor and start dusting from the highest point in the room down to the floor. Now that you have the machine set up and dusting complete, pick up any large trash on the floor, flush all toilets and urinals, and make sure toilet lids are down. You can now move on to step two of the cleaning process, which is pre-spraying chemical in the restroom.